the story? Yeah, tell me that story. Oh, well, as you know, back in Oklahoma, we had uh, outhouses in a lot of places, like my great-grandmother's house in Hitchcock. Uh, I don't know what the outhouses were. It was just a little house with uh, with a wooden seat, and uh, and instead of toilet paper, they had uh, they had magazines and. Uh, Main thing there was uh, was uh, things like uh, uh, catalogs, Sears catalogs, and some of these real thick catalogs. It'd be an inch, inch and a half thick, but uh, that's what was used for toilet paper. It wasn't very effective toilet paper, but nevertheless, that's what was used. Uh -huh. They also used. Uh, uh, and this is kind of hard to imagine, but. Uh, uh, corn cobs, like corn would be shed, or shredded, and uh, the, the uh, remaining uh, corn uh, would be uh, left and dried out, and all those things they would they would use for in place of toilet paper. Thank you. She's telling me a story. Thank you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, and then you see some things like uh, when you had an outhouse like this, of course, depending on how many people used it, but period. But it was finally, uh, it would be get to the point where it was considered full. There was decomposition that took place, which reduced it, you know, and then liquid, uh, liquids were uh, would drain out and so forth. But nonetheless, you'd have to periodically move the house dump dirt over the top of this and I dig out another place for the house and take with that dirt cover the one that you had to But at any rate, uh, it was kind of a kind of a, a lousy job and, and it was uh, it's all kind of hard to believe, but this was very common back in, uh, in the rural parts of Oklahoma in those days. Like I said, they used, uh, for, they used uh, catalogs and magazines, old magazines for toilet paper. They used uh, dried corn cobs for toilet paper. And uh, uh, it's, uh, it sounds like it sounds like something made up, but it's really true. And for, periodically, they would uh, have the thing full for what they would consider full. So a new hole would have to be dug, and then the toilet, or the toilet uh, outhouse should be picked up and moved over onto the new, uh, new hole, and uh, the old hole covered was uh, dirt. And uh, this had to be repeated uh, after a number of years. But it, it wasn't it wasn't an easy one. And uh, in many parts of the you uh, some places you'd have running water but maybe not hot water. And uh, and it was because you didn't have natural gas to heat things with. Uh, and uh, you might have you might cook with some amounts of something like a, a campfire stove or something like that. But it was a uh, it was a pretty primitive life. But there were there were uh, like places most most of Oklahoma City and then places like Oklahoma City and Tulsa. So and I had uh, more upscale uh, things would be considered more upscale. Uh, uh, made, well, uh, replacements for outhouses. Ah, but uh, people a lot of the uh, Okies that came out here and. Uh, Starting about 1940, a little bit before that, the Grapes of Wrath crew uh, uh, really did come from a, uh, right, a rather primitive physical. Uh, actually, it's hard to believe when I mention this, but it's true. Mm -hmm. The schools back in Oklahoma were, were more advanced than the California schools. They were. Yep. When I came out here. And then what? What about what year was that? This was this was uh, 1940. 1940. Yeah. Wow. The, uh, uh, I was put ahead a half year because of previous experience of kids coming from Oklahoma schools, and uh, that lasted about well, less than two months. And I was put ahead another half year. Wow. And that's that's how uh, they, they laugh about Okies being stupid, but uh, the, the kid the kids may act that way, but they're not. The schools were more advanced in California when this was a, when I came came out here and I was uh, 
I just coasted, put ahead, coasted again in the California schools. And I, I think I wouldn't be at all surprised if they're still still trailing, but don't realize it. There's something about the ego here that, that uh, makes it impossible for them to believe something like this. But nevertheless, people who witness the thing will tell you yeah. that it's true. That's true. Oh. Hey, thanks, Ed. Okay. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.